A moment of history for the European and Ukrainian parliaments as they vote simultaneously on the delayed association agreement between the EU and Ukraine. The event was relayed live between Kiev and Strasbourg, a bright spot after months of war, stoked, many argue, by a Kremlin leader obsessed with Ukraine's deepening Euro-Atlantic ties. We will the Ukrainian people by supporting this dream from Maidan. Zu erfüllen. Deshalb heute diese Abstimmung. Сьогодні ми впевнено вийшли на цей європейський шлях. Я хочу нагадати, старт був важким, але фініш буде переможним. Слава Європі! Слава Україні! There were solid majorities in both parliaments, but it wasn't without detractors more sympathetic to Moscow, who argue no good will come of a rushed procedure. Despite many breaches and deaths, Ukraine's 11-day ceasefire is deemed still alive. More than 2,500 people have been killed as pro-Russian rebels and Russian forces battle Ukraine's army in self-declared people's republics. Dass wir das heute ratifizieren können und wollen, das hat damit zu tun, dass die Bürger der Ukraine gekämpft haben. Pace e prosperità nel nostro vicinato dovrebbero essere l'obiettivo e vogliamo ancora credere che questo obiettivo è condiviso con la Russia. Allo stesso tempo la difesa della legalità internazionale per noi è un dovere. Where next? Russia's response is anyone's guess, though few of Europe's farmers forget the impact its tit-for-tat produce embargo is having. The agreement provides for political association and free trade. Ukraine must advance political, minority and judicial reforms and fight corruption. Trade rules, which would have clashed with existing trade arrangements with Russia, have been deferred until 2016 at the request of President Poroshenko. The Russian intention was to change the agreement so that the vote today would not have been possible. And they did not achieve that. After MEPs voted on the agreement, President Poroshenko presented draft legislation to his parliament, potentially giving eastern Ukrainians far more autonomy, a measure which could significantly reduce tensions.